What's going on? How are you guys today? We are doing a day of eating update and I'm actually going to show you guys something that I was eating right when I stopped the carnivore diet. It's basically pasta with ground beef, onions, kind of like bolognese but without the tomato sauce and we're going to have my regular vegan cookies. So let me show you guys what's going on. For the pasta, I have a durum wheat semolina, very high quality, very expensive, but it's the best tasting one I've found. And I have that simmering away in a bottle of mineral water. You know, the reason I'm using a saute pan is so I don't have to use that much water. I can keep it filtered and high quality. I have some onion sauteing in some coconut oil. Uh, these are some shiitake mushrooms that I cooked maybe a week ago. And this is the top round 95.5 super lean blend we have on Frankie's free range meat. There are some vegan cookies. The dough is over there. We cooked those last night actually. So I'm going to saute the ground beef in here, take the pasta out, warm up the mushrooms with the ground beef, and then we'll assemble everything. One thing I haven't actually been doing for the past two weeks or so is drinking water kefir, and that's because I kind of messed up my culture and fermentation, but it's back, so I should be feeling a little bit better and sleeping a little bit better. So I'm looking forward to that today. So everything is lightly seasoned with salt. I'm just gonna take this pasta out here, put it in a pot. And I've mentioned this in the past, but if you use a high mineral water, like Gerolsteiner, when you're cooking pasta, when you're cooking rice, you can actually impart the mineral content on the food. So with this pasta, I'm just gonna take a little bit of coconut oil and drizzle it on so it doesn't stick together. We'll mix in our sauteed onions. So the beef, I'm not actually cooking all the way through. I'm just going to leave about half of it raw. Got a little bit of caramelization and flavor on it. And these are actually baby shiitake, which I like a lot because you don't have to cut them. <laughs> you know, just buy wholesale baby shiitake mushrooms from my restaurant supplier. Throw three, four pounds of them in a giant pot and cook it all down at once. Have mushrooms for a couple weeks. You know, when you cook the mushrooms in fat and salt, it's like you confit them. So they don't go bad in the fridge. They last a very long time. So just quickly warm up the mushrooms. In the pasta they go. Put about half a pound of the ground beef. I can always put more. Now for a from scratch meal, this is really quick, easy, delicious, flavorful. So I've been craving this a couple days and I didn't really act on it. Uh, what I did act on last week was my hamburger craving. So I went to Whole Foods. I got some organic hamburger buns, some like frozen french fries and had that for a couple days, but I really need to make the bun myself, make the fries myself, just like this, I'm making the pasta and everything myself. I'm not gonna eat all of this, I just fit it on one plate because it's more convenient. This is probably two or three meals. And I could put more ground beef in if I feel like I need more protein. Just really clean, fresh flavors, mushroom, onion, beef pasta. I mean, it's like four o'clock. I worked this morning, laid out in the sun a couple hours. I didn't eat anything all day, so I'm kind of starving, but. And some of you guys might be wondering why I use coconut oil. It's mainly to add fat calories and I'm already losing so much weight. I really need to add them. I just don't like the flavor of the other fats too much. And, and the coconut oil is neutral. It doesn't taste like anything. You know, if I put beef fat in this, even butter is just too overpowering. Moment of truth. Do I miss the water kefir? Yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Let's get drunk. I think this, I keep over fermenting this, so it definitely has some alcohol in it. I'm probably going to be woozy for the next few hours because I have low alcohol tolerance. It's kind of funny because this is what I eat in the form of a burger and pizza because the pizza, it's wheat with ground beef, onions and mushrooms on it, same thing. And then the burger, you know, the burger bun is wheat with beef patty, mushrooms and onions on top. So whether I have my pasta with mushroom, onions and ground beef or my pizza with it or the hamburger, it seems like eating very similar foods. And there's good reason for that. You have a nice balance of macronutrients, fat, protein, and carbohydrates, and even micronutrients where you have the animal-based minerals and vitamins from the meat, then you have the plant-based minerals and vitamins, particularly from the mushrooms, the carbohydrates are feeding the gut bacteria. I think it's a really balanced meal. 
and it says pretty well in my stomach. Granted, I don't eat too many cookies. And that water kefir is very important because you know, eating this pasta isn't that big of a deal, but then if I go eat like two or three cookies, I really need the extra bacteria to help digest that sugar. And you guys know the deal. About halfway through the meal, I'm gonna go take my enzymes. And what I'm actually gonna really focus on and start doing for the next month or two is just load up on specific minerals, maybe some vitamins to see if I have a little more energy. I took about 400 milligrams of magnesium uh, when I was tanning earlier and I, I do feel pretty good. So let me just grab that and I'll show you guys what I have. So not too much stuff. I have a couple of digestive enzyme pills, a couple of antimicrobials, I have molybdenum and manganese, which I take maybe once or twice a month. I have all of this stuff on organ supplements. I have vitamin K2, which I'm gonna to try to take on a more consistent basis daily. And I have some methylfolate, which I'm also gonna start trying to do on a more consistent basis daily. And I think I'll also do uh, the natural B-complex and the antioxidant support in the morning uh, and see if I feel any different. I mean, if I don't start feeling better, like at the latest by the end of next summer, I'm just gonna disappear to some beach in Mexico and destroy my liver with some tequila and Mexican girls. That sounds like a game plan. Not as cold as Russia. Nice and sunny. They don't speak English as well. I am stuffed. Most of the time I do have those cookies. Today, I don't think I will. You know, if the meal tastes good and I really enjoy it and I eat a lot, then I won't have the cookies. But I have a recipe video for those cookies. I think it's titled like Hitomi or Hitomi's Vegan Cookies. I don't remember what the hell I was, uh, what was going on in my brain when I made that video. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. You can go to frank com. Check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, Oregon Supplements for everything I've mentioned in this video. I also have the salt available on its own on Frankie's Free Range Foods. If you guys could please leave a comment down below, drop a like on the video, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my next video. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.